also taking an entire week to apply to a contest that we might not win. It was for $50,000. Um, it was very exciting. Here's the moral of that story. We solidified more of why we're doing the app and what we think about the project and why it's important to us personally as why it's important to the world. To have an app in your pocket, to make sure that you can work out wherever you are so that you take care of your fitness goals, if you don't have the money for a gym, if you're in a lockdown, if you're worried about COVID, you can work out wherever you are, right? And for that week, we really solidified like why we're doing this at this time. But it was hard because we had to set aside some of the other parts of creating a business. And then we thought, well, what if, what if we win? I mean, $50,000, my God, you know, we could get a new camera. I mean, I have the GoPro and love my little hero GoPro 8. But I mean, as far as like, if we wanted to get like a $2,000 camera that you use with a tripod and you know, it's like 47 megapixels and you can blow it up in a movie theater, right? Like we thought to ourselves, we thought, wow, you know, $50,000, that could be really life changing. So we spent that time and we did the application process and it was hard and it was hard to really look at our goals and our obstacles and, and our needs, but we did it. And okay, so we didn't win, right? We didn't win. We didn't win the $50,000, but we didn't lose either because those pages and pages and pages of application, we have them. We have them to reflect on as we continue with developing our business. So that brings me back to the Instagram thing. I took some time for myself to enter into an application. It didn't take quite as long. And I won a 10 week course. And this course probably cost maybe, maybe it cost 800 or a thousand dollars. And I am so grateful. I'll leave the contest that I won to the side because I don't really want to bring attention to that group right now because we just started yesterday and I don't want it. You know, I just want to remain anonymous as far as the fact that I won it so that I can interact with all the ladies in a way that they don't worry about whether they paid or they didn't. I'll just keep that to the side. But I entered a contest and I won. I won 10 weeks of advice from coaches who have gone before. And all of that coaching that I'm going to receive will be applied to my personal business, which is the resource girl you know, on the YouTube channel, as well as I have resourcegirl.com and I also have resource girl on Instagram. And sadly, resource girl photography on Instagram was hacked. I'm pretty sad about that. Um, and Instagram has never responded to, has never responded to any of my numerous, um, you know, emails. But, but why am I talking about this? Why am I telling you, my watchers, on this beautiful evening up on what I call the Himalayans of Central Park? Why am I telling you? Because this channel for me isn't just about exercise and it's not just because I've seen some other people doing it that are really awesome, but it's also because the resource girl has always been about being happy and healthy and helpful even when I can't be. So I'm just a mere mortal, right? I'm just a human being. But when you have a persona like Batman, you know, he can save the world or Spider-Man or whatever superhero you follow. Um, I really see the resource girl as being her own superhero for the things I want for the world that I'm unable to do all by myself. Yeah, those are my earmuffs. Oh, that's another story. Uh, I got these really cool earmuffs that had Bluetooth and I could actually like walk around and listen to music and my ears were warm and I felt really good. And then I went to a store. Mm, what did I do? I put my earmuffs down. 
And what happened when I went back to the store? They mysteriously disappeared. Sad. Anyway, um, I bought those beautiful earmuffs at Pier 1 Imports which is such a beautiful store, particularly around Christmas. They just, I just think they have the best decorations. And so many of the brick and mortar stores have closed, but they do still exist. They are still, you know, out there. So if you're still here with me, the point of my story is that when you apply to something, whether it's just putting in your email or whether it's a 15 page application for going to college, I truly believe that the discipline and the focus that's necessary to complete an application, even if you don't win, is something that helps us in all of our life. And I remember that my mom, uh, she helped me a lot with applications when I was applying for college. And I'm so grateful to her. I'm not sure if she's watching this video. She doesn't really like me being in the park at night, <laughs> but it's not even night. I mean, I can still see the sky. She doesn't like the fact there are all these raccoons. Um, there's about 25 or 30 raccoons that at a certain point in the park, if you walk there, they will come out and they come so close to you. And you know, I love animals, but oftentimes animals that are wild, they carry different diseases like rabies or some other stuff. Um, so she's always telling me not to go where the raccoons are. So she's probably not watching this video. But what I wanted to say is that she helped me a lot with those applications. And on one hand, I'm so grateful that she did because I went to college and, you know, went through that passage of life. But I, I haven't gotten a master's yet, right? So I have a four year degree, but I don't have a master's. And part of that reason is because, you know, those application processes, processes, <laughs> those are pretty intense. You gotta, you gotta bring everything to the table. And I think that the, um, so I follow Tony Robbins and one thing he says is, who do you have to become to go to the next level? Who do you have to become to go to the next level? And I feel that we all, um, are on different continuums of maturity. Oh, this is so beautiful with the geese or the ducks flying. There's a continuum of the maturity scale, right? So, As I was saying, if you're still with me, there is a continuum of the maturity scale. And as I mature in my life, I can say that part of that continuum is the ability to show up even when there's tragedy in our, our lives or crisis or crises in our life. That's one thing about maturity, to be able to show up no matter what. And secondly, I think about maturity is being able to be in the trenches of what's really difficult and uncomfortable and to be able to press through. And last year, I feel that 
I feel that all of us I feel that all of us were pressed up against a wall and we really had to see what we're made of. And I'm not going to go into all of my personal ways that I need to get, you know, further along the maturity continuum. But I will say that the reason why I shared this today is because I won a contest because I took the time to enter into something that I believe was important for my life. And by taking that time, I won. So I'm just encouraging everybody today to, to jump into something and apply for something, whatever that means to you. Oh my goodness. Hello. Listen who's talking. Yes, what are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? These are the kind of ducks that I had growing up in my backyard as I lived on a river. Oh, look how beautiful all of you are. Not sure what the camera's gonna catch. Ducks aren't so dangerous. So the building directly in front is the plaza, although I think it has a new name. And in the past,